Hi everybody, this is Madeline from Grow Portland and today I'm excited to be bringing you a really cool STEM project that's science, technology, engineering, and math. And in this project you get to build seeds and these seeds are going to travel around in different ways all using materials you already have lying around your house. First off, you may already know that seeds travel away from their parent plant when it's time for them to grow. But why do they need to travel so far away? What are they searching for? Well, they need all the things that a seed needs and plenty of it. They need room for their roots to grow. They need plenty of soil, sunlight, and water so they don't have to compete with their brother and sister seeds. Have you ever seen a seed traveling around? Does it take an airplane or a car? No. How do seeds travel? Hmm. There's three main ways we'll talk about today. Seeds travel in different ways. They might use water to float around like a coconut. They might fly around on the wind like a maple seed or dandelion. Or they might hitch a ride on an animal like a cocklebur or even hitch a ride through an animal's stomach like a berry. Now that we know why seeds travel and some of the ways they travel around, we are going to use our imaginations and some household materials to build our own seeds and try to see if we can get them to travel the same ways that seeds do. We're even going to test these seeds out to see if they really can float in water, fly through the air using a fan, or stick to our own clothes. Here are some of the items I've gathered from my own house to use to try to build these seeds. I've got some seeds right here to use as our tests. We've got a feather, some rubber bands, twist ties, foil, Q-tips, tape, scissors, popsicle sticks, one lonely paper clip, some yarn, and some cardboard. Remember, you don't have to go to the store to buy any materials for this project. Just use whatever you have lying around your house. And it's okay if you have different materials than I do. Just be creative. So, using these materials here to add on to my seeds, these black eyed peas, I'm going to try to make a seed that floats in water, flies through the wind, and can hitch a ride on me all the way across the room. For some inspiration, I'm going to be looking at this book called A Seed is Sleepy. It has a page all about seeds that float in water, like these ones. It says they use thick protective shells to keep out seawater, and they have enough air inside to help them float. That's good to know. This page shows some seeds that like to float through the air. And this one has examples of seeds that hitch a ride, maybe on a child's shoestring or through a bear's belly. So my first seed is going to be one that can float in water. From the examples in that book, I noticed that the seeds were pretty big, round, had air in them, and had a thick protective coating. So probably wouldn't use something like yarn, but maybe I could make sort of a boat shape out of this tinfoil. Let's try it out. this float in water with a seed inside. Here's a bowl of water. Let's test this out. Looks like we're floating. Let's check back on this seed later to see if it is still floating in the water. Next up, I'm going to try to make a seed that will float through the air. This one might be a little bit more challenging. I think I'm going to use a dandelion seed as inspiration and see if I can make something out of these materials that looks like a dandelion.
right, here is my dandelion seed that I hope will fly through the air. To test it, I'm going to put this by a fan and see if it flies across my couch. Or if it was a windy day, I could go outside and try it there. Well, that seed didn't fly super far, so I'm going to try this again with a different design in mind and see how I do. Not bad. Now my challenge is to make a seed that will hitch a ride. That means it should stick to my clothing and stay on me as I walk across the room. my seed that will hopefully hitch a ride and I put on a sweater to help the sticking process a little bit so let's test this out there we go is it gonna stay on as I walk across the room yay success and our seed floating in water is still here and still floating Thanks for being creative with me today. I wish you the best of luck with your own seed designs. If you made something really cool and you want to share it, you can take a photo and email it to me at mmiller at growportland.org. Fall happens to be a great time to see seeds on the move in real life, so maybe you'll check that out the next time you're out for a walk. Take care, everybody. See you next time.